Well, you know, right now I'm worried about the day-to-day -day Israel. And the day-to-day -day Israel, as you know, the Prime Minister came out with this incredibly um, hard to understand idea that he's going to demolish homes in Judea and Samaria, namely in Bethel and Opana. So, you know, I mean, this got thrown at us yesterday and uh, the next couple of days is going to be debated in the Knesset. And uh, Danny Danone, who was here, member of Knesset, uh, had to run back as an emergency to take on the issue of Opana to make sure they don't demolish Jewish homes, which have a right to be built in Israel, They're, they've already been built. So you don't demolish something that exists. We, we went through this with Gush Katif. We saw when you demolish Jewish homes, you set the wrong example, you set the wrong precedence, you give the Arabs ammunition, you give the Arabs strength, you empower them, you do the wrong thing, you send the wrong messages to the president. Therefore, Prime Minister, back off, do not demolish the homes in Opana. So you're asking me about an election? I'm talking about tomorrow, the next day, and the next day. Okay, how about November? November election, probably the most critical in the history of the United States. It gets to the heart of a lot of matters. Uh, one is a physician, but uh, obviously today is about Israel. And um, unfortunately, this president has uh, not not lived up to his promises with Israel. He went to Israel before the election and um, said a lot of great things, but he's not lived up to them. And he gives Israel a hard time, whether it's behind closed doors or on Air Force One, wherever it might be, but he's given Israel a hard time. I know it, I know, I know it. I'm not gonna say more than that. You think he's I know twisting it. their arm? He's definitely twisting their arms. And on top of that, he's allowing the world to potentially be put in harm's way by allowing the Iranians to continue despite all these so-called sanctions and diplomacy which we saw already didn't work again it didn't work and by by shunning his responsibilities over Iran he is putting the world in harm's way so it's very important that the president finally lets Israel do the job if America doesn't want to do the job I'd rather America do the job personally but if America is not up to it right now, let Israel do it. What's the big deal? Let Israel do it. We just need you to behind us. He said, the president said, he, you know, he's got our back. So let's see. Let's see. What, what message does this gathering send? Message? Well, the messages are great here. You know, we got tens of thousands of people, despite the little bit of rainfall here. We got tens of thousands of people, and they're sending out a message. The land of Israel is not to be tampered with. We are. It's an eternal heritage given to, given to us by God. This is our land, it's gonna remain our land. And every inch is our land. So there's really no talking about anything because it belongs to us. It's always gonna to belong to us. And for 19 years, we've made that message and we're only getting stronger. Every, even with the raindrops, we got the largest crowd ever here. So the message is very simple. Listen to the people. People are here, they're saying Judea and Samaria, is one. It belongs to the Jewish people. Don't touch it. They're saying Jerusalem is one. It's united. It's not to be touched, not to be negotiated, not to be put on any table. It belongs to the Jewish people eternally. We're not going to let anything happen. And you know, that's that's our message. What can I tell you? We also want Jonathan Pollard free once and for all. If the president would do that, we would be eternally grateful. And that's a, that would be very helpful to him to free Jonathan Pollard right now. If I had to give him a piece of advice, you free Jonathan Pollard and you're in good shape.